Hi, it's Molly. Welcome to my channel. I help people find their next level of faith and flow in their life. Together, we find heavenly hacks to recover your joy and live out the dare of who you're called to be. All miracles are on the table and anything can happen here in Molly Land. And I've just had this message burning in my heart that I'm really wanting to share with you. I've been really thinking about what to do when we're in a space where things aren't moving forward and what to do when we feel stuck in life. Because I actually believe that there's, there's this brilliance in the margins, that there's a blessing when we're, what feels like when we're stuck in life, when we're in the waiting. So what I wanna ask you is, do you feel like you're stuck sometimes in life? Or do you feel like something is blocking you from going forward? It could be that you're stuck in a job that doesn't line up with your core or your purpose or your passion. Or maybe it's been years and you're still waiting for that promise to manifest. It could be you're waiting for that promise like meeting your mate, meeting your love. That was my theme for years. But I want to say, what if the stall that you're hitting is not really a stall, but is actually the entry point to your breakthrough? Because I imagine that whatever it is that you're waiting for, you also have felt like this is a promise that God gave to you. And it's, it's very sincere and it's very intimate, especially in the way God gave it to you. I would bet you God gave it to you in one of your most toughest seasons. So it actually became this anchor of hope. But now after so much time, so many months or so many years, you're starting to wonder, did I hear God right? Or, or is this promise going to expire? And that can be very discouraging. But I wanna say again, that this hardship and this weight, I believe is a key to your victory because sometimes out of our biggest heartbreak comes the door of our breakthrough and God wants to meet you there God meet, wants to meet you right there and he wants to be there today so darlings I don't know what you're facing or what you're going through but God wants to make an exchange he loves to trade us so don't let this get away without finding your gift your exchange because in this window this is a special window for you to find how God is meaning you here in this situation and in no other kind of circumstance would you be able to get to know God in this way that this situation is pushing you into because after all also, on the good side of things, one of God's favorite things to do is to flip things. He's so into that. I love that verse in Isaiah, how it says God comes to comfort all who mourn, giving them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of the spirit of despair, the mantle of praise instead of the spirit of fainting. Don't you love how that's written? the spirit of fainting. I can relate to that sometimes. Are you having a week like that with the spirit of fainting with your kids or the job or, you know, one thing's working in life and then one thing is falling apart? And the mantle of praise, how well put, because it's not saying you need to conjure from inside. You need to just bust, bust your butt and fake it till you make it. No, you may not have that in you right now. You may have used your last drop of oil and, and God doesn't want you to fake your faith. He wants to put it on you like a mantle, like a dress, like your favorite outfit. Maybe it's that shirt that's just, ooh, that color on you, or that dress that just, oh, it just fits you just right. It brings out all your good stuff. That's how he puts it on us, so we don't even have to do that. So I guess what I'm saying is, it's actually the sucky, suckiness of the situation that's gonna bring out the best of God and the best of you. And it's the co-laboring and the partnering. 
And what if you could like get a fresh upload or a fresh download from God right now? You know, I know when I'm stuck in a situation and I can't decide, it's like I think one one reason is like option A, which is not a good, and option B, which is not good. Or maybe your future tripping, your mind is just reeling. But I love doing this kind of work that's called encounter, where it's like, whoa, you get a fresh revelation. It's so real and so intimate and so sweet. And it gives you just a fresh heart in this situation. Because sometimes that's what we need more than anything. I love how it says another verse. I'm going to try to flow on this one. It says, blessed are those who persevere under trial. Because anyway, it ends with God wants to give you a crown of life. That's what he likes to do and wants to do for you in this trial. So this is my first installment. I call it Molly's Manna. That's my upload for today. I hope it was refreshing. Stay tuned for next next time. Uh, it's going to be directed a little more toward the ladies. Pick up your skirt and walk, which is what to do to start making it happen. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me tonight. Peace.